Steve Meyer wrote an article on the Cambrian explosion for the proceedings of the Biological Society at the Smithsonian Institution, and his editor was harassed and finally left the institution. Michael Behe has evoked from his colleagues at Lehigh University, which is a great university and especially strong in the sciences, a statement on their website that Dr. Behe is entitled to express his views, but we, his colleagues in the biology department, do not view them as science. He's been disclaimed. He's been disclaimed. Why? Academics espouse all kinds of crazy ideas. Why should these ideas, why should the challenge to Darwin and the suggestion that if there's a code, there's a coder, the suggestion of an intelligent design evoke such singular hostility? What is going on? I'll start with John because I didn't give you the What is point. going on is the domination of naturalism and materialism in the academy, which is so ironical. I'm from Oxford University. Its motto, and it's been there for a long Dominus time, is Dominus Illuminatio Mea. The people that founded the great universities of the world had no problem with the idea of an intelligent designer of the universe. But now somehow in the academy, anybody who espouses the idea that was the foundation of modern science in the 16th and 17th centuries, arguably as a historical thesis, is out. That strikes and me that as idea, a very... And that idea is? The, the founding idea is? The founding idea is, well, let me quote C.S. Lewis. Men became scientific. Why? Because they expected law and nature, and they expected law and nature because they believed in the legislator. There it is, encapsulated. That's Whitehead's thesis, if you want it, North Whitehead. And, and the point is, these gentlemen here, tragically, have been subject to an anti-intellectualism that has lost the spirit that lies behind the modern science that these universities claim to teach. 